In this lesson, we're going to continue adding detail to the cylinder of our weapon. All right, so let's go ahead and start working on the overall shape of this. Now, in the last lesson, we had added in uh, these segments right across the center. And whenever we smooth this, that's going to cause these flat spots on the corner. And what I want to do is I want to make sure that this is perfectly round. And so to do that, let me go ahead and isolate this. And let's go to edge mode. And I'm going to select um, this edge, and I'm going to simply hit ring. Then let's select this one, holding down control, and hit ring as well. And then we'll select this one and uh, hit ring. And then with those selected, what we'll do is go ahead and hit connect. Now, I could go ahead and do that, uh, but by doing so, you'll notice it creates a little bit of an issue right here in the center. Um, however, we can actually take care of that. Uh, so let's go ahead and just keep it. Let's hit OK. Let's go to vertex mode, and let's check this. I think that's going to create a single vertex, and that's fine. I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of these um, extra edges right here in the middle. So just these four, hit control backspace, and what we'll do instead is we'll go ahead and we'll select these uh, segments here, or these vertices, and hit connect. Okay. Let's do the same thing right here as well. So we're going to make a bunch of triangles right here in the middle, and that's okay. Uh, nothing wrong with that, uh, because again, this is going to be the smoothed, um, high poly version, and uh, as long as we get the result that we want, that's okay. Okay, we've already blocked in a lot of the detail uh, that we need for this. So control backspace, go to vertex mode, select the vertices across, and just use connect. And then I'm going to select these, and then right click and use connect here. Okay, just a quicker way of using connect instead of going over to the menu. Okay, all right, so there we have that. Now the next thing that I want to do is I want to um, go ahead and take those edges and bring them out to make this more of a cylindrical shape. So we just need to redistribute that. Uh, so I'm just going to select the top edges here along those. And we need to go ahead and select all of these as we go along. Okay, so let's select just these. Make sure we get those in the inset. Okay. And then we'll go ahead and we'll add those to the selection. And the final three there. Just do a quick check, make sure that you don't have anything extra and didn't miss anything. And I did miss one there. Sorry about that. Oh, missed a couple. All right, so we've got all of those. Great. Now let's go ahead and convert the edge selection to vertex selection. So hold down Control, click on Vertex. And then grab your Scale tool. And let's go to our front view, hitting F on the keyboard. And then I'm going to hit Z to zoom in on that. And I'm going to scale that in the X and Y direction. Now before we scale, um, let's make sure that we have our constraint turned off. So set to none, and then go ahead and scale that out. And you'll notice how round that gets. Go ahead and get it as round as possible. You don't have to be absolutely perfect, but you want to be close. Um, I'm also going to take these vertices right here, and I'm going to push those a little bit closer to uh, the edge there. So just go ahead and scale those out a little bit, something like that. And that'll help retain that volume um, in a little while. All right, great. So now we have that rounded out. Um, next thing that I want to do is I want to start adding in some segments that are going to be needed uh, to retain volume. So I'm going to go to Edge Mode. Um, let's hit 2 on the keyboard to do that. Deselect, and let's go to Edit and Swift Loop. And I'm going to add a loop right here on the edge, okay, on the outside here. Make it pretty close to the edge, just like that. Um, there's that one. And let's do one more right, right here. Okay. Now let's go ahead and take these edges in the center of our insets and let's push those back some. Actually, you know what? Let's take the corners and let's push those forward. Because remember, we had already set this line right here to be even with the back side of the inset in our reference image. So I don't want to mess with that. Okay, and that was the center of that inset. All right, so let's just pull that forward in the Y. There we go, and that's going to create a nice little curve whenever we're ready. All right, now let's take a look at um, uh, dropping down this bottom section here, because it's still round. We want that to actually dip down into the, 
the cylinder of the revolver. So we're going to select these edges as well. And then we're just going to uh, convert our selection to vertex, go to scale, hitting R on the keyboard, and you can go to your front view and then just simply scale that down. Okay. Oops, looks like we grabbed an extra edge there by accident. Let's go back here. Oh, I went ahead and I just went to vertex mode. I didn't actually convert it. Hold control, go to vertex selection. There we go. And then try not to select any extra vertices there like I did. All right, just a quick check. Now let's go ahead and scale that down. And that's going to get pretty close um, to the edge there, but we don't want it to go real deep. We just want a little bit of a crevice there. All right, great. Now let's take care of the uh, mechanism, the little hole that the trigger will grab, uh, and it will ratchet that cylinder. Okay, and so this is just an exterior. We're not worried about how it actually works or building that um, that functionality, that mechanism. We just want it to be on the cylinder uh, to make it look um, authentic. All right, so with this edge ring selected, let's go ahead and use connect. But I'm going to uh, knock this into two sections here. Okay, now with that, we can go ahead and um, leave that. We can make it a little bit um, thinner. I'm going to go ahead and just leave it as it is because what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to go to polygon mode. And I'm just going to select these six polygons right here. Okay, and I'm going to inset this. So go ahead and inset that to about 0.2 or so. And I'm going to leave it just the way it is. And now I'm going to turn on my edge constraints because now I'm going to scale this in the Z and it's going to stay um, constrained to the surface so that way we get this nice uh, curved look to it still so let's go ahead and scale that down to right about there okay and make sure that you've grabbed the six polygons that are on the center uh, do not select the polygons that are on the uh, the inset of that okay so they're going to be on the flat surfaces all right so with that um, let's go ahead and double click on this edge and this edge and let's scale those in toward one another. Now whenever we're scaling that, um, let's go ahead and switch this to um, center of selection and then we can actually scale that, those edges toward one another. Okay, instead of converting over to the edge or to the vertex selection all the time. Okay, just another way of doing it. Alright, so now we have that. Now what I want to do is I want to take this edge and this edge and I'm just simply going to connect it, but I want to connect it with a single segment. So let's drop that down and hit OK. Now what I have are the polygons that I need for that uh, little piece. So let's take a look at it in a reference image really quickly so you know exactly what we're building. It looks like this. It kind of looks like a T. Now it's got a rounded bottom to it, and it's kind of rounded on the edges. So we're going to leave it just like this, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to inset it Okay, and by insetting it, what that allows it to do is whenever it smooths, it's going to keep that edge and it's going to make that sharp. So let's do something like 0 0.03 and hit OK. And then we're going to extrude it, but we're going to extrude it in a negative direction. Let's do 0 0.05 on that extrusion. We don't want this to be very deep. All right, now with that, let's hit OK. And then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to flatten out that bottom. So let's hit OK on that and let's make that planar. Okay, so just simply hit Make Planar, and that's going to flatten that out. Perfect. Uh, next thing that I want to do is actually want to take this edge right here, and I want to pull that down. So let's grab our Move tool, make sure our edge constraint is turned on, and move that down. Z, try to recenter that the best that you can. I'm not sure why that got moved. All right, so there we go. Now we've got that set. Now we need to do a couple of other things. We want to make sure that it keeps its volume. And so to do that, let's select this ring, okay? And let's use connect. Let's knock in uh, two segments there and kind of adjust our pinch a little bit, okay? I'm going to take my slide back down to zero. I didn't mean to change that. And then let's go ahead and go to polygon mode. With those polygon selected right here on the bottom, we're going to do inset one time. And let's do an inset of something like, I don't know, maybe 0 0.02. And let's go ahead and just leave it even at 0 0.03, just like we did before. Oh, let's hit OK on that, and that's all we'll need to do. OK, so that should be your result. Now, how do we get that information all the way around? 
I don't want to go through all those steps again. Well, in the next lesson, I'm going to show you how we can take that part of the mesh and rejoin it to the rest of the cylinder. And we'll go ahead and we'll get started with that in our next lesson.